Okay, we're over here at the uh, Visible V8 testing facility, and here is the Visible V8 that we've been working on here over at the uh, over at the shop. So we're going to go ahead and mount that on the uh, test stand here, and uh, there's a pan here, and the pan is connected to um, the sump over here uh, with tubing silicon tubing this is a dry this is a dry sump system so the pan just acts as a collector it doesn't uh, there's really no uh, storage in the pan it's all done over here so let's go ahead and put that on here first and the pan just fits on like this and it just snaps into place Now we're going to put it down here. We have to we have to align. We have to put the uh, drive shaft here into the flexible coupling. So we'll put that in here. Line that up. Put that in. That. And then we're going to just drop it down into here into the stand like that. Okay. And we'll make sure this is in the right place and it is and we have an allen allen wrench here we're going to tighten that down with right here and we're going to uh, see how it turns here and uh, turns okay we're going to uh, uh, we're going to put uh, there's two screws here we're going to put back here in the back right here that hold in the uh, keep the visible V8 from coming loose on us. So we'll uh, go ahead and put those screws in. We'll come right back. Okay, uh, while it's on the test, now since it's mounted to the test stand, we're going to take off the uh, valve covers and I have a some uh, lubricant here and the lubricant we're going to use today in today's test is uh, glycerin and this is what I've been using here lately I've used all different kinds of lubrication but glycerin seems to work pretty good so that's what we're using today and we're going to uh, lubricate the uh, push rods and the uh, rocker arms here uh, the valve stems make sure that uh, we got enough lubrication on the valve stems. These uh, lubricate a little later. It takes a lot of the lubrication to get up there, even though it's pressure fed. So we're going to do that to this side, and we'll do it to the other side as well. Well, everything's checked out. We've connected up the uh, tubing here, the pressure tubing for the lubrication. And now the, the engine is dry, so we're going to have to let the oil pressure come up, and I'm going to turn it by hand until we can get some uh, lubrication uh, pressure build up here. So let's go ahead and turn this on, and you should see the uh, lubrication coming uh, down into the pan from the, uh, from the rods in the uh, crankshaft there. And it turns in the counterclockwise position from the rear anyway. Now, when this first starts up, it's going to rattle quite a bit because it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of dry. The cylinders and the pistons are dry. So, uh, and we're running about 14 and a half pounds right now. And today's lubricant is glycerin. So, uh, which has been working uh, very well here lately. All right, 14 and a half pounds, and everything turns all right. And you can, uh, if you can see there in the video, we're getting a little bit of oil flow down there. So let's uh, turn this on. We're going to run it kind of slow here. Got a rattle to it. I'm just going to run it at a slow uh, speed here. Get some lubrication up into the uh, camshaft, up into the uh, cylinders there. 
running about uh, yeah, about 773 RPM. I'm going to let it run like that for a while. It's got a definite rattle to it, but it'll go away after a while. But overall, it's, it's pretty smooth. Okay, we're going to uh, let this run for a while, let it run in before we uh, rev it up. So we'll, uh, we're going to let this run for a while. About, about 14 pounds. It's running at a idle, slow idle right now. fan belt kind of squeaks a little bit in the in the grooves of the uh, water pump pulley. Got a little click to it, a little squeak to it. But uh, it's been running now for about oh, about 15 minutes and it seems like it's uh, doing pretty well here. I'm going to try to walk slow here. Go slow around it here. I think we did a pretty good job of assembling it. it uh, it's quieting down here. Everything seems to be working. All right. Okay. Well, let's, let's see how we did. Now, we're only going to run it to, uh, we're not going to go over 3,500 because I don't, I don't run it any faster than that until it's run in for at least an hour. Uh, so let's see how it does here. Once the oil heats up, once the oil gets a little uh, warmer, it'll stop leaking around here. Yeah, when the oil is cold, it has a tendency to, uh, when the lubricant is cold, it has a tendency to wrap around, ah, wrap around, the, <laughs> wrap around the, the crankshaft and come out around the front of the crankshaft. <laughs> so, uh, but it is quieting, quieting down. So it looks like we did a pretty good job assembling it, and we still got about 14 pounds oil pressure. We'll rev it up one more time here. Yeah, doing real good. Okay, well, I think that uh, completes our uh, assembly and it completes our test for today. And today is uh, October 9th, 2011. So, we'll see how it, uh, we'll see how it progresses uh, later after it runs in for a while, after a hour or so, a couple hours while I'll, uh, I'll crank it up here, but uh, for right now, this is it. And that completes the assembly of the visible V8 engine.